Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Selena and I think if you love decorating for vintage and antiques, you're really gonna love my Christmas home tour. I live in an old Victorian home and I love to look for pieces at thrift stores and garage sales to decorate with. So pretty much 99% of my Christmas decor is also secondhand and I'm really excited to show you how I've decorated each room this year. The entryway has become one of my favorite little spots to decorate because it's small. It's really quick for me to do. And I wanted to keep this space really fun and welcoming, but also somewhat like simple, I guess, in design because I want I want all the other rooms to really lure you in. Uh, but in here, I wanted to finally put up our aluminum tree. And this tree I've had for so many years. But if you watched my decorating video with my mom, I told the story of how it came to be, but I, I got this at an estate sale. And one of my top tips to you, if you're looking for something and if you have something on your, your thrift wish list, something vintage or secondhand that you really wanna find, ask people because sometimes people might have something stashed away that they haven't thought about for years as well and that's what happened with this tree i was at an estate sale and i asked a lady if she ha if she had one for sale and so happened she did um, but i'm so excited to finally use it this year and i think it looks really beautiful here on our entryway table on the banister i i think this is one of the very very few brand new christmas items that i have but i got this uh garland from costco years ago and it's pre-lit with little pine cones on it and stuff. So from year to year, I'll kind of change up the color theme or the look of the garland itself. Sometimes I like to tie big velvet bows on it and stuff. And this year I just decided since the tree was so like bold and glamorous, I really just kind of wanted to keep the garland simple. But I did do a little something something over here on the Newell post. These are a bunch of faux pearl costume necklaces and they're in a bit of a tangle, but I just think it looks like really fun and, and beautiful and glamorous over here. And then I tied on some velvet ribbon. I got this on Amazon, but another thing that you could do too too, and I tried to thrift it. I tried to thrift my ribbon whenever I could. Um, but you can also take old uh, linens, like an old dress or um, curtains or anything like that. And you can kind of cut your own strips to make your own custom ribbon, which I will probably do next year when I change out my color theme. On top of the table, I thought this was a fun little trick. This uh, tree skirt is not actually a tree skirt. And one of my very favorite things to do, I think with interior design is not spending any money at all. You know, you have all these things in your home that you've already purchased, you love it. So why not use things in different ways, right? So this tree skirt is actually a little feather jacket that I got from Thread Up, And I thought it looked really beautiful here under the tree because it kind of mimics the look of snow. And on top of the snow, <laughs> I have these beautiful faux pearl faux candles. And these are from Luminara. I'll have them linked down below because I think I have a little bit of a discount for you if you'd like to get some as well for your home. But I'm a big fan of these candles. I have them popped here and there throughout our house, but you can actually put them on a timer. They are totally safe because they're fake. So you don't have to worry about a flame or blowing anything out or most of all, getting any wax on your precious vintage. The little silhouette angels, oh my gosh, this looks so pretty at night. They do really look like little shadows in the snow here, the way the Christmas lights glow behind them, but they are all glittered and they're actually these like little metal silhouettes. And years ago, I got a whole box of them at an auction and I love to decorate with them in the Christmas months and as well as Valentine's Day. I think they look really pretty mixed with some red roses and lace and all the frilly things. This was such a simple thing to do to kind of transform a light fixture in your home, but literally all I did was tie that same velvet ribbon that I have over on the Newell post from the chandelier. If you have any kind of hanging light in your house, if you want to hang some fresh greenery or ribbon like this, it really is an easy way to add a festive touch that doesn't hardly cost anything. These ornaments my mom got for me at a garage sale, and I think, 
that garage sales are honestly the best place to be looking for your Christmas decor because you can find so many weird and unique ornaments and especially the cool vintage stuff. So these ones are these like, I think they're plastic or maybe like a really, really lightweight metal, but they're all glittered. Some of them look like disco balls. They're really fun with all these mirrors all over them. And I love the size. I think my mom and I, after we thrifted those giant green ornaments at Goodwill this year, I think we're both very, into like the the large obnoxious ones now <laughs> they're just kind of fun they really pop in and they make uh christmas decor i think a little bit uh wild and sassy and i like that uh, but these were really cool my mom got the whole box at a garage shelf for five bucks and i thought they looked really neat and they kind of kept this tree very glamorous but like monotone and i think it looks very chic up here even though it's simple i really like this one Okay, before we head into the living room, I have to show you my outfit. <laughs> I'm having so much fun in this video, busting out my favorite pieces. And it's like, tis the season, you know, why not? Let's have fun today. So since my tree is from the 60s, I thought, I'm gonna wear one of my favorite vintage 60s outfits. This boys and girls is not a dress, it's a jumpsuit, yes child. <laughs> I love, love the print on it. It has this really beautiful like sagey green and aqua blue. Uh, it's almost like a satiny brocade. It just feels really good. It feels all silky and yummy. <laughs> but I love the botanical print on it. And it's got these really beautiful like big butterflies all over the vines and stuff. A beautiful mandarin color, the little frog buttons. And then my friend, uh, she gifted me this beautiful necklace. Rosie was so sweet. And H&M, like years ago, I had this like collaboration with Lon Vaughn. And this is one of these wild necklaces that they had back in the day. And I've, this was a Christmas gift. And I just thought it was like really fun and wild to wear today. And then the shoes, oh, I gotta show you these shoes. I'm normally not a heels girl, but I saw these. <laughs> Aren't these fun? Like what? <laughs> I'm gonna get changed really quick and then we are gonna head in over to the dining room. I wanted to do something grand here where I open up the doors and it was like the dining room. But these are the original pocket doors and they're derailed. And Pete told me, he's like, don't be opening and closing those because I won't be able to get them back open again. I don't know what it's gonna take for us to get these back here, but these doors are, I think this one might work. I'll show you what it looks like. Don't tell Pete that I did it so I don't so I don't get in trouble, okay? Oh, here, so you can see one door. Ah, we'll just pretend. <laughs> but this one totally got de derailed and they're so heavy because these doors are solid wood. So I'm just leaving them alone, but I love to think of this room in the Victorian era and what it must have been like to have a dinner in here by candlelight. I still have yet to do that, but I know that is happening this year ahead. Uh, but I just love how this room has transformed since we've moved into our home here. I feel like it's happy in this room. I feel like this room is happy with like who she's become here. <laughs> but uh, it was all very, very different when we first moved in. I'm gonna see if I can find a photograph for you. But there was paisley wallpaper over here behind the fireplace from the 1990s, not 1890s. 1990s and it was like ninja turtle green walls i think that was the previous owner's favorite color because that that green was all around the house and as much as i love color some of the colors were really distracting from the things that i think were the most beautiful things about our home, like the tall ceilings and the big crown moldings and chunky baseboards. I felt like they were very distracting to those things. So um, I kind of toned them down and then I added more color as I got to know the room. If I were to describe her like a woman, she's like very complex in here. She smells of musk and tonka beans and red roses. <laughs> and she prefers the twilight of the sunset over early mornings and she enjoys rich velvet crystals and dark red wine <laughs> yes come on over girl <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever change the color concept in here for Christmas. Like I was telling you, I love to do that in each of the rooms and kind of change it up a little bit. But I really love the dark burgundy and the old golds in this room. There's 
something about it that just feels so luxe in here and I love how that feels for the Christmas time. And uh, here on the table, I have I have mostly Goodwill things. I just love how this looks in here. I think for Christmas, I'm gonna have some red roses on the table, but for now I put one of the Costco points that is in the middle. But in the center of the table here, I have these really beautiful uh, faux, poinsettias and pears and apples and they're like glittery leaves and things and I also poke them over in the pencil tree in the corner but back to the table real quick the tablecloth itself is from Goodwill I got this for only five dollars here and it's the perfect burgundy that I wanted I didn't want a like a Christmas red in here I wanted that like really rich like Merlot color is it wine o'clock I feel like I need I've been mentioning like a glass of red wine to you already so many times <laughs> but on top of the table here, my mom got these really beautiful glass gold chargers at a garage sale for a dollar a charger. And I guess the girl used them for her wedding, so they were only used one time. And so I placed them here on top of the table. My mom got them for only a dollar a piece at that garage sale. I love these dishes and I love thrifting dishes in general because it's so wonderful that um, there are so many beautiful patterns out there and different kinds of china and pottery and things that you can incorporate into your home and holiday decor without spending a lot of money. I think that's a big misconception in home decor and, and uh, having a nice home in general. That doesn't mean you have to spend a lot of money. It just means you need to take the time to find things that are a good deal, that are beautiful and really speak to you and fill your home with things that you really love and enjoy and that you're proud of. Uh, but these dishes here I got at Goodwill a few years ago and I think they are so beautiful. I think the little small salad plates were like $2.99, the big ones were $3.99. So this beautiful place setting, all secondhand, looks really high end and elegant I think and uh, it has these really beautiful dark burgundy kind of filigree like design that I think ties in really nicely with the tablecloth below and these beautiful hand painted roses are just so romantic and they kind of add that really beautiful Marie Antoinette touch that I love so much. Over here on the buffet I kept it kind of simple because I'm in and out of here a lot come the holiday months but on top here I just added a little bit uh, more of the Christmassy colors uh, in this area but on top of the buffet itself I have these really beautiful hand beaded and sequin table runners. It kind of reminds me of my dress with all the sequins and stuff but they're very glamorous and I got two of them secondhand and I put one over on the other buffet which I'll show you in a moment but I love the way these kind of table runners look when they glisten in the uh, candlelight here and these oh my gosh I'm always telling you every time I go to Goodwill and I, I'm, I'm telling my mom to like keep an eye out for me but these are glassy babies you've probably heard me say that a million times on my channel but I was given one as a gift years ago when I first started um, my breast cancer treatment and a family family friend gifted me, gifted me one and she said it was like a sign of hope because it was this really beautiful soft pink color and I lit it I got home and I was like wow no wonder she thought it was so special because these look so beautiful when they are lit up and I found these at Goodwill for only $2.99 a piece and some of the colors I think of glassy baby once they're discontinued like they can be like two or three hundred dollars for some of these so they're really really valuable and uh, you can actually find them at Goodwill some of the thrifting groups that I follow on Facebook I see people posting fun colors that they find out thrifting like really really cheap so it's kind of exciting to see what other people find out there but I think one of my top tips to you if you want to look for these secondhand is look in the glassware section I think that a lot of thrift stores think these are like cocktail glasses or drinking glasses and you could really score a good deal <laughs> Over in the corner here is our family Bible. And I just tied this really beautiful dark burgundy ribbon on here just to kind of make it feel a little bit more festive. But I wanna tell you about this really quick cause it's really neat. And if you've never seen one before of your own family, 
They're really special things because it has all of the births, it has all of the deaths, all of the marriages in your family. And in ours, I'll show you some of the pages if I can get it open safely because it's really heavy and it's very old. But um, they're all written in really beautiful calligraphy. And even when I was born, my mom has really beautiful handwriting. So she wrote my name and birth date in there and everything. And it's just a really, really beautiful family piece. Our family Bible, I have it here in my dining room because I'm the last one in my lineage. I'm an only child, so it's here in, in our dining room. And uh, it came across the Oregon Trail, which is also really, really neat. I remember one time I was, I was in junior high and that's when you're like really learning about American history. And there was a passage in there from a diary that was found by a woman crossing over the Oregon Trail and about how difficult and how how treacherous the crossing was and how hard it was on everyone around and it was really like this like uh, sad like tugging almost poetic type of diary entry and at the bottom of the entry it said my last name. I was like, oh my gosh, this is a relative. So I ran home and I opened up the Bible to see if I could find her name in here. And I believe it's one of the daughters of uh, a couple here that is written in our family Bible. So that was just a really neat thing, you know, that that was in there as well. I think what's extra special about our family Bible, not only because it's here and it's, it's so personal to my family, but the fact that it's all intact and especially that it's on the original stand. Many of the things that people brought as personal belongings over the Oregon Trail were burned, discarded, stolen, and especially these stands that people brought with their family Bible. These were a heavy thing. And they, by the time they got here to Oregon, it was only like the necessities that you really, really needed. And so a lot of these Bible stands you don't see anymore because they got hucked over the side of the wagon or they were thrown in burn piles because there's wood holding either side of the Bible itself there. But it's just really, really cool that the whole thing made it over here intact and now it's here in our dining room. So this Christmas, my mom and my dad are gonna come over and we're gonna have brisket and a good big fresh salad. And I'm gonna do shish kebab, not do we call them shish kebab skewers, like a shrimp, shrimp skewer on the barbecue. We all love seafood in our family and stuff. And plus we live in the Pacific Northwest and I just thought it would be really nice to have them over for like our, basically our first family Christmas all together here in the dining room. Okay, I wanna show you this cool outfit before I get changed and we head to the living room. Let's start with the most obnoxious thing, <laughs> this necklace. I just love it. This is a really cool eBay find that I got years ago, but it has these like giant big lions on it, big bobbly lucite things. I think it's from the 60s, but it was just so big and obnoxious. I love it so much. This dress is a really cool 1920s reproduction dress and I love the fringe on it. Like look how fun this would be like for a New Year's party or something. It's all like sequined and beaded and just like really comfortable. This is a little jacket. I thought this was kind of neat because I could wear this with another piece like some beautiful slacks or a different dress, but it looks pretty when you wear it kind of off the shoulder. I feel like this look kind of gives a bit more of like a 1920s Great Gatsby kind of look. And then the dress itself is really beautiful because it has adjustable straps, which I totally appreciate. And then the top bodice of it is sheer right here without being like too revealing, you know what I mean? But I just thought this was like a really pretty glammy dress and it was fun to wear it for you today. All right, let's get changed into something else and then we'll go into the living room. So this is our living room. We don't have a like a formal living room here in our house. So this is the family room and like living room, I guess. Uh, but normally we have dog toys and like dog beds all over the floor, but I tried to clean it up and make it look nice for you today for Christmas. <laughs> but my mom specifically requested this year that I go back to the Candyland look. She just loves that so much when I use all the pastels in here and it looks like really like a fantasy land. And I gotta say, I think it's my favorite too. 
Over on the fireplace, I gotta say, I stole a little bit of inspiration from Al's Garden Center with how they use the faux silk flowers into the Christmas decor. I just thought it was so pretty, and especially for me because I love, I love a lot of things that are very whimsical and romantic looking. I just had to try that with Christmas decor this year. So I found these really cool uh, pink wisteria faux blooms online and they are wonderful because they came in like a pack of three and it had a lot of flowers in one pack so I kind of get a lot of impact without having to spend so much which is nice but I paired it with this really beautiful faux laurel garland and it's like a um, like a plastic gold and I love this a lot because it doesn't have a bunch of glitter we're gonna get to the glitter section later don't worry ladies who love glitter <laughs> I got you covered uh, but over here I just kind of wanted to keep this really soft and gentle and organic looking and I especially love how incorporating the the flowers and the leaves still complements the artwork that I have above here. I think that's a thing that is really difficult for everyone to kind of decorate come the, the Christmas months. It's like how do you incorporate stuff that you already have into your decor and make it look holiday-esque you know and for me I, I start to incorporate ribbons and little baubles and ornaments I'll poke in the bottom of planters or pine cones I think there's like little like tweaks you can do to your home decor without feeling like you have to take things out and replace things and stuff um, so I'm all about uh, maximum impact with minimal effort <laughs> We did get a new sofa this year and I feel like if I sit down, I'm not gonna wanna get up, <laughs> it's so comfortable. Uh, but I love lounging here because like, it has this big kick out on it where you can put your feet up, which is nice. It's kind of like that built-in Ottoman feel, but um, it's such a perfect spot because you're actually standing where the fireplace is right now. So it's a really wonderful spot to relax and see the afternoon sun come in. And we also have our TV over on that side if you wanna watch a movie. But we had the same sofa since we first got married. And it was like, it was time for something new. As much as I loved the, the beautiful gray one that we had, uh, the colors didn't really match in this room anymore. So it was, it was really fun to be able to get something new this year. And this one is like so soft and squishy and it's really, really cozy for these winter months. Here on the coffee table, I have this really beautiful hand embroidered tablecloth. And I think I forgot the name of that again, <laughs> but it's that wonderful thread that has the metal like woven into it. And it's so beautiful and sparkly at night when the candles are kind of sparkling on it. But I love this just thrown over the coffee table because we have a glass one and you always see, you know, greasy fingerprints or like a, a ring from a drink or something like that. So that kind of hides it for the winter months. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> and on top, I have two beautiful antique mantle lusters that a friend gifted to me. She found these at Goodwill. I can't believe believe that she found them that goodwill they're so old and so fragile I don't know how they made it like through the donation room to the shelves but she scored those for me and gifted them to me when we first moved into our home and then I also have two pastel colored glassy babies and this is that beautiful pink one that I was telling you about earlier on and then in the very center, I have the Princess Pink Poinsettia from Owl's Garden Center. These are so cool and I, I really, I don't see them anywhere else. That's why I love to go there just once a year for my little tradition and just get a few of them for the house. But I put them inside of these like lattice, I don't know if you call this a planter because it has holes around it, but it's this really beautiful like pink chinoiserie type of uh, porcelain pedestal. I still wanna get some kind of like faux greenery maybe like those like moss balls or one of those little topiary trees I thought would be really cute for spring so I'm keeping an eye out for a couple of those because I have a pair this is one of those Samsung art TVs and normally I have a painting on there and when you turn it to like the painting mode it really looks like a true painting I think this is like a photograph of snowy trees and stuff but I might play around with it um, this coming month and put a different kind of painting I like to put Renaissance paintings and I love finding all these things you know secondhand and especially on top here my very favorite thing is this ceramic tree and I have never I have never seen another like this one and I, it's probably because it's 
it's a one of and it was handmade and I think a lot of these trees back in the 50s and 60s were handmade. Um, they have a lot of really great reproductions now that are kind of hard to tell the difference. My mom has a really cool one that I got her from Costco a few years ago and it's really beautiful but this one tops them all. <laughs> I love this because it's a pastel purple luster where it has that luster like rainbow finish it's so extra and it has little pink lucite little uh, bulbs that glow oh it's so cute at night it doesn't really give like a really big bright glow which i kind of like that it's very subtle that's it's the only time she's subtle is at night <laughs> but next to the ceramic tree I have all these like glittery bottle brush trees and honestly as much as I love sparkle and all things over the top I kind of have a love hate with glitter Christmas decor things because you will clean up all of these Christmas things and come summertime you're still finding glitter in the house <laughs> it drives me nuts so I, I try to condense it all to one area so all the glitter lives over here for now but I mixed in little twinkle lights in here and that one auction that I was telling you about where I got the glittery cupids yes the glittery little angels and cupids I also got these really beautiful velvet faux poinsettias and they're in this gorgeous like fuchsia and have a soft blush pink I also like to mix these into the Christmas tree because I got so many in that lot I think it was in the summer months I got like a whole bag of all these like really beautiful Christmas things for like five bucks at the auction because no one else wanted these things in the summer months I miss going to auctions do you have those where you live because my favorite auctioneer retired another auctioneer closed down and I think there's only like one auction going anymore but it's a couple hours from my house and that's where I really feel like you can find some really amazing things really old antiques unique things for your home and I also think that it's a really wonderful opportunity to learn about vintage and antiques if you ever get the chance to visit a live auction. I was wrapping so many presents this morning and I was so happy that my mom came over because she loves wrapping. Like she lives to wrap presents, absolutely loves it. I love all the wrapping paper patterns that I got this year. Each year I've been trying to find different patterns that still match my Christmas decor. And I think that's a really great way for you if you're decorating at home to really add some impact and also cohesiveness to your Christmas design just by the paper. It's something I never really thought about before. I kind of just like grab whatever print I thought was cute. But once I started kind of uh, matching all of the paper to the overall Christmas decor. It just gave this really nice like high-end look that I never even thought about before. The tree is a faux flocked tree. I got a really good quality one when I ordered it. I think it's a Vickerman tree. They make really nice Christmas decorations, but for years I wanted a flocked tree and finally I went to the garden center and I saw that you know just a six foot flocked tree was $200 and I was like okay I'm not getting one of those every year so I saved and I just invested in a really nice faux flocked tree that I can have year after year. This one is so beautiful but it does get the snow all over every time we pack it in and out so there's kind of a lot of cleanup to do but it has really beautiful LED lights that I can change to a twinkle light or like a dimmer is really neat. The entire tree is all adorned in really beautiful ornaments that I've collected throughout the years. And if you watched my last decorating video with my mom, I was kind of going back and forth because I've, I have a lot of holiday decorations and I just, I felt bad because I wasn't using all of them because I have a lot. And, um, but then I, then I was like, oh man, I can't get rid of them because it, it took me so long to find these things and collect them. And a lot of them are like really old. So thank you guys for giving me great advice. I did, I got rid of the broken things. I got rid of some like weird things I wasn't really using. And uh, I think it's a really good idea for me to like rotate my stuff every other year. So I did condense, I got, got rid of one, giant tote. I felt really good about that. Donated and got rid of things. 
Um, and then I can enjoy all the ornaments that I love so much. I only have three of these. Yeah, you'll see another one up here. And I think there's, yeah, another guy down there. I got three of these big old baubles for a dollar at a thrift store. And man, we scoured that entire thrift store for more of them because I swear that's like our jam now are these like giant obnoxious ornaments because they're so fun and cool. But I'm hoping next year that I'll be able to thrift more or maybe look like in the summer months and find some other fun colors. What do you think for color tones next year? Because when we were at Owl's, I was really loving that purple. They had that like plum purple, but I don't know if that would look nice in our living room because we have a lot of cooler tones in here. I'd really like to try cobalt blue again. A couple years ago, I tried to decorate with that, but I didn't have enough dark ornaments. So maybe I'll keep an eye out at garage sales. But then I just told you I need to get rid of Christmas stuff. Oh, the struggle. <laughs> Oh, where's the other, oh my gosh. These are so cute. Oh, I gotta show you the blue one, that's even cuter. All right, so a few years ago, and a few, I mean like 10, <laughs> I went to a garage sale and this lady loved Marie Antoinette as much as I do. And she had all of these really beautiful, very over the top Marie Antoinette shoes. And I think that's when the Marie Antoinette, the Sofia Coppola movie came out. But look how amazing these ornaments are. All handmade. I mean, the shoe itself, look, it's embroidered, made out of a silk. Oh, they're so pretty. Look at that one. Little sequins and stuff. I got them for a dollar an ornament at that garage sale. Let me see the name. You might, maybe you can find them on eBay or something if you want to get some, because oh, I'm not getting rid of mine. <laughs> Don't look at them. <laughs> um, they're called Catherine's Collection. This is my very favorite ornament, and you're about to see why. My mom told me that this was my very first ornament when I was a baby, and it's a little cherub. Isn't that cool? Like, no wonder. These were an estate sale fine. Aren't those cool? Can you hear this in the microphone? It's so shimmy, shimmy. Well, I, ha I have to say this is probably my favorite, my very favorite vintage outfit that I own. My mom got this at an estate sale for $3. Oh man, she was telling me how cool this sale was. And, and I wasn't there, my, my dad was wingman and he's like, why are you getting all these old clothes for Selena? This was like really early on when I started showing an interest in vintage fashion. And my mom had an arm loaded these things at this busy estate sale. And she's like, she's gonna love this. And I do, this is a two piece set from the 60s. And it's really nice because it's like a wool or like mohair blend. So it's a sweatery set. And the inside is all fully lined with satin. So it feels really nice on your skin. You know, I think that is something that is so amazing about vintage clothing is that it was for one built to last because here we are today and it's also made of quality materials. Like I can't even imagine if you had to buy a holiday outfit that was hand beaded with a, a satin lining made of like a wooly mohair. Like what would that cost? More than $3, right? But that, that's what's so fun about finding vintage things. But I love this. It's so mermaid and it's so fun and glamorous. And I love to think about the lady that wore this to her holiday party back in the day. This stretchy bracelet is a really neat one. This is my great aunt's bracelet and my mom kept everything in the safe when I was a little girl because I loved to play with costume jewelry and she didn't want me to, you know, of course, ruin my great aunt stuff. So she kept this in the safe until I was old enough to inherit the pieces, but it's not like it's some very, very valuable piece. It's just a rhinestone bracelet, but I love it because it's one of our family pieces and it's also like an accordion one, which is so fun to play with. You saw me wearing the coordinating choker necklace and in my last video but this is the bracelet and it just reminds me of like really fun little disco balls here it kind of moves around and gets a little wonky sometimes but i think it's just really cool i've never seen another one like this I just want to tell you Merry Christmas and thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being a subscriber. I've had so much fun creating videos for you here on my channel and I'm really looking forward to the year ahead. I hope that this Christmas you get to spend with your family and just kind of relax and make some memories together. 
and eat lots of good food and watch movies and just like really hold on and cherish those times that you have together as a family. I know that I'm so grateful to have my parents here closer now in town and just be able to spend a good time with them. And it's been really exciting for my mom and I to get to film videos together and thrift like we did when I was growing up. You know, I, that's what I grew up doing was going to all these garage sales with my mom. And now we get to do that again together. And it's just so fun because my mom's my best friend. If you see my mom and I out thrifting this year, please come over and say hello. Like it really just makes us so happy and we're just as excited to meet you. <laughs> so thank you so much for being here. Merry Christmas to you and your family. And I will see you next year.